Hello friends, in this video, we will try to understand the next part of the Shannon Phenon coding that is nothing but the ambiguity example. That means whenever there are lot of options to divide a particular column or probability into the multiple, then which way we have to select. <music> So first of all, let us have a look on the theory behind the Shannon Phenon algorithm. There are few rules which we have already seen in the previous lecture. The given messages are fixed in their order of the ascending or descending probabilities. We all know that we require to select the descending probabilities because that will give us the maximum efficiency. Second is divide the message into the two parts in such a way that divided parts should be most probably equal. That means this probably equality is in terms of sum of the given parts or the given probabilities. Third step is repeat this step until no further division is possible and write down the code for every symbol. With the help of these four simple rules, we are able to calculate efficiency, entropy, length. It is actually known as the average length per symbol. And the last one is redundancy. To achieve the maximum efficiency, redundancy should be as low as possible because the value of efficiency ideally that should be 100%. Efficiency means what? The output. So the output what user required that is always 100%. So the value of redundancy ideally it should be zero. But practically it is not possible because the efficiency is get affected with the help of this length and entropy. So the average length and entropy are the most important factor which should be calculated with the help of Shannon Phenom. Now exactly what is ambiguity? Because up till this we have already seen in the last lecture that how to calculate these all factors. But when there is a problem of ambiguity means when there are multiple ways to divide the parts into the different parts or to divide our set of probability into the multiple parts then exactly which way we have to select that is nothing but what ambiguity so what we have to do in that particular problem that we require to observe so here you are able to observe that the example having the four symbols and probabilities Calculate the efficiency by using Shannon Feno algorithm for the probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 for the symbols S1, S2, S3, S4. Now fortunately the given probabilities are in descending order. So no need to again change the order of the probabilities. So directly try to write down the symbol and their respective probabilities. So that are what 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 for the given respective symbol. Now, we all know that we require to divide our this particular probability column into the two parts in such a way that they will provide us the most probably equal parts. That means most probably equal sum of the probabilities. So how to find it out? So the maximum probability is 0.4. Let us try to achieve whether we are able to achieve the 0.4 with the help of the remaining probabilities or not. So the remaining are 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So what I can do, the first way, I can assign these three last probabilities as a one part. That means their addition will be 0 0.6. And the first probability and its sum will be 0.4. So what I can do the next step? I can try to achieve exactly 0.4 with the help of these two probabilities. But then what I can do with the remaining 0.2? I cannot left a single probabilities 
as it is, where the rule is given probabilities should get divided into the two equal probable set. So that I must have to use the first symbol as it is and the last three symbols. So point four, this is the first part, assign zero to first part and assign one to second part. You can select any combination. So there is the second part, binary representation. So now zero, there is an individual zero present in the step number one. Indirectly, we are not able to again divide the zero into the two parts. Dividing the zero means what? We are not able to divide the probability point four again into the two parts. So I can write as it is the code word for S1 is zero. And the length, length of the code, that is nothing but what? Code length, that is one. So how many bits are present in this particular code word? Only one. Now, the second, in the step number one, after this zero, how many one are remains? Three one. That means there is a probability or possibility to divide the set of the probability into again the multiple set. So how many probable parts are remains? Point two, point two, point two. So again, as three are having the same or the equal probability, I should able to divide it into the two parts. Consider first point two as a first part, that is what? Zero and consider the last two probability. We have to combine or sum together the remaining probability. That is nothing but what? The second part. So zero as it is and these two we require to combine together. So for these two there is a set. So here the point two probability and here point two plus point two is nothing but point four probability. So along with the probability point four I have to assign this particular code word. So zero for this point two and one and one for this two remaining point two. So this is my first subset and these are my second subset. So again zero one one. So step number two, how many zeros are there? Only one. The one individual symbol is the representation of no further division is possible. So write down the code as it is one and zero for S2 and code word length is one zero. That means how many bits are present? Two bits. So two bit will be the code word length. Now again, the next thing in this particular step, Step number two, how many one are present? Two one. That means there is a possibility to divide the steps. So to the first one assign zero, to the second one assign one. See there is no any chances to sum these two ones together. That means there is no any chances to sum these two probabilities together. Why? Because if we try to merge these two probability together, then you will get only one part of the division and that we don't require. If you are able to divide the part, divide it into minimum two parts. So that one assign directly to this one assign zero to this one assign one. So what is the probability? As it is 0.2 for this and 0.2 for this. Again, fortunately, you are here getting the equal probable part. So what is the code word for S3? It is one, one, zero. So one, one, zero. And how many bits are present? Three bits. And what is the code word for S4? It is one, one, one. So how many bits are present? Again, three bits. So what is this code word length is nothing but Ni. And these probabilities are nothing but what? Pi. Now we require to calculate H, L, E and Re. These are nothing but factors which we can calculate with the help of Shannon Fennan. And that we have to calculate for this. And for that purpose, what we require? Pi and Ni. Pi is given in your example and I you require to find out with the help of Shannon Fennon algorithm. So how to calculate now entropy? H is nothing but what? We have the formula of H Pi into log of inverse of Pi. So the first probability is 0.4 log of 1 by 0.4 plus Second probability 0.2 log of 1 by 0.2 
प्लस थर्ड प्रोबेबिलिटी अगेन पॉइंट टू लॉग ऑफ वन बाय पॉइंट टू सी फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल देयर आर थ्री प्रोबेबिलिटीज विच आर एग्जैक्टली इक्वल बट स्टिल दिस केस मे और मे नॉट अराइज इन एवरी एग्जाम्पल सो कीप अ हैबिट टू कैलकुलेट एवरी प्रोबेबिलिटी इंडिविजुअली सो द एंट्रॉपी फॉर द फर्स्ट सिम्बॉल इज दिस एंट्रॉपी फॉर द सेकेंड सिम्बॉल इज दिस एंड फॉर थर्ड सिम्बॉल इज दिस सो सिंपली ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट एंड फोर्थ फॉर दिस सो सिंपली ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट एवरी इंडिविजुअल सिम्बॉल एंड इट्स एंट्रॉपी एंड फाइनली समिट टूगेदर so point 4 is the probability for s1 log of 1 by point 4 this answer is nothing but 2.5 now we all know that this log is having base 2 and we are not able to calculate the value of base 2 in our calculator so always keep a habit to convert the log base 2 into log base 2 So one by point four is nothing but what two point five. So how to calculate log of two point five base two into log ten? Simply write down log ten. Your answer two point five and divide it by log two. So in your calculator you can add log two point five by log two. So put the these values log two point five by log two on your calculator and you will get the required answer. so that will be the answer for this term multiply that with 0.4 similarly to the same calculation for remaining thing 1 by 0.5 means what 5 so convert this log 2 into log 10 log 5 log of answer divided by log of 2 so like that calculate the answer you will get the entropy value 1.95 and its unit will be bits per symbol so next step is calculation of average length so how to calculate the average length the formula is summation of probability into coward length we have already calculated coward length in the previous table so you can use that for ni probabilities are given for every symbol again keep a habit to calculate probability and ni individually for every individual symbol So point four into the coward length for S one which we have calculated that is nothing but one point two into coward length for S two is two plus point two into coward length for S three is three plus point two into coward length for S four is again three. Try to understand though these three remaining symbols that is what S two S three S four having same probability the coward length may be different for them. So for S two the coward length is two. For S three it is what three. For S four it is again three. So we require to assign it or keep it individually, and its answer will be two. So L is again the bits per symbol or length per symbol you can say. So finally we are able to calculate the efficiency. Why? Because the value of the efficiency we can calculate only once we are having the value of h means entropy and average code length. So h was our which we have previously calculated. That value is one point nine two. So one point nine two divided by two will be our efficiency. That is nothing but ninety six. percent this answer is nothing but 0.96 but efficiency we are able to express in terms of percentage so in terms of percentage that is 96 and if you require to calculate the redundancy the formula is 1 minus e so 1 minus 0.96 so 0.34 will be the redundancy so try to understand once your average code length is always or almost equals to your h then that will be more beneficial why because that division will gives you the better answer means what the maximum efficiency you are able to achieve so for that purpose to achieve the maximum efficiency suppose instead of 2 your h is 1.92 here your h is less than l H is one point nine two, which is less than two. Suppose your length 
is 1.8 for example if your length is 1.8 then h becomes greater than your length so by that time what will be the efficiency 1.92 divided by 1.8 so that is what above 100 percent so by the time consider the maximum efficiency is 100 always we require the maximum efficiency ideally it is 100 but practically when it goes above 100 then consider it as a full efficiency maximum efficiency and keep it as a 100 so the lower range of l lower range of l is always useful to achieve the maximum efficiency this is the conclusion of our shannon phenon coding now we are getting some terms for efficiency for h for l with the help of the first type where we try to take 0.4 in one column and 0.6 into the other divided column now let us have a look on the other way whether it is possible to divide our particular same example into the two different column and which are completely different than that of our previous column so yes here there are the symbols s1 s2 s3 s4 and our probabilities which we have already mentioned the same probabilities but just here we will try to take the different sets what are that 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 in the previous example we have taken 0.4 in a one set and these all 3.2 together in the other the second probable equal part is nothing but what combine these two 0.4 and 0.2 which will gives you the answer 0.6 in the first set and combine these two 0.2 and 0.2 which will gives you the answer 0.4 in the other set this way also it is possible to calculate the code and its length why because it is also the division in the equal probability manner so 0.6 and 0.4 so this will be the first set assign the value 0 0 for first set assign the value 1 1 for the second set after that how many zeros are present in your step number one two zeros so again it is possible to divide that particular symbols indirectly into the subsets so try to observe 0 0.4 0 0.2 we cannot sum them together why because if we try to sum them together we will get only one symbol and it is not possible we require to divide the part into the two parts so we are not able to sum them together so 0.4 as it is for this particular class assign 0 for this 0 assign 1 so this is nothing but division of this 0 into 0 and 1 again we are able to divide this in the step number 3 supposing we are not able to divide this in the step number 2 now in the step number 2 what is in our hand 1 1 0 0 further division is not possible now for this 0 we cannot divide it again because there is an individual 0 so individual presence of 0 in any step is nothing but the indication of no further division is possible similarly individual symbolic representation of 1 is nothing but no further division is possible now there are two ones remains in the step number 1 so we what we can do we are able to divide the part this is 0.2 this is again 0.2 so this is nothing but what equal probability division so assign 0 for this assign 1 for this after that in the step number 3 how many zeros are present only one indication of 1 0 no further division possible how many 1 are present only one so no further division is possible so here write down the code word 0 0 for s1 0 1 for s2 1 0 for s3 and 1 1 for s4 and their length 2 2 2 2 the previous length was different code word length in the previous example they were different that means in this video itself what we have seen in the example number one and we have calculated the length code word length for that they are different for the respective symbol and here we are getting the same length code word length for every symbol so obviously there is a chances to achieve the different length with the help of this example so you are able to calculate the length now let us have a look how to calculate the length 
we are not supposed to calculate the entropy. Why? Because the calculation of entropy is only depend on probability. Pi into log of 1 by Pi is nothing but the rule to calculate entropy. And probabilities we didn't change. Why? Because that are already given in our example. So we are not able to change the probability values. What we can change or what we can update that is nothing but only code word length. And so that H will be saying that was what 1.92. Now try to calculate the code word length for average code word length for this way. So, L is equal to what? Summation of Pi into Ni. So, probability into 2. Again, probability for second S2 into 2. Probability for 3 S3 into 2. Probability for fourth symbol S4 into 2. As we are having here 2, 2, 2, 2. Same equal code word length. So, that only we are able to write down here the same number to every symbol. Here we must have to write down the code word length and here the probability. Fortunately, here we are getting the same answer L is equal to 2 and so that efficiency is again 96%. So what it means by ambiguity? If you observe the two tables or the two divided parts, you can easily observe they both are different. Why? Because the subsets which we have selected to divide the parts that are different. So, there was the first way and there was the second way with the help of the Shannon Phenon encoding algorithm to find out the equal probable match and to find out the code word length finally to calculate the efficiency. In this example, if our L was different, then we can comment on the path. For example, now we are getting 96% efficiency in both way. So what is our conclusion? For this example, we can select any way to Shannon Phenon algorithm. Why? Because E value is same. But if in any other example with the help of wave 1 you are getting 96% and with the help of wave 2 if you are getting 95% then what should be your conclusion? We have to select wave number 1 as it will give us the maximum efficiency. So, the ambiguity example whenever you have to find out in your particular exam the Shannon Phenon coding with the help of ambiguity example then you must have to derive the terms efficiency you must have to calculate the this term efficiency with the help of both the ways and then you have to write down some conclusion the final conclusion of the efficiency is what we know that average length per message that is L should be as low as possible to achieve the maximum efficiency whether it is correct or not yes if I want E greater, efficiency greater, then L should be as low as possible. And only for to calculate the maximum efficiency, we are interested to calculate the code word length. So ambiguity example will gives you the multiple code word length and so that you have to find out which way is good to achieve the maximum efficiency. Always remember H is same for every way because H is only depend on the probability and probability once assigned they are not able to change by the user that means by us. Just we can update L so always try to calculate L in every way H once you will calculate keep it as it is. So in this way you are able to select the correct or the best way to find out the Shannon Phenon coding. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe Ikira.